Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Uh, please continue to do so. All links are below. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is extend the 50% off. Okay, so that's 50% off phone and Zoom readings. All right, take advantage of that. Okay, if you know that you need a reading, if you can afford it, if it's the vibe is right, 50% off, use code 50 off at checkout. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's get into it. So Aquarius, it just, it feels like um, you guys are in a good energy. Wow, as I say that, the Queen of Cups flips over. Um. You're in a good energy right now because <clears throat> you understand your purpose. You understand your soul purpose. You listening to your intuition. You just understand that you have something to offer the world, you know, and, and you, you feel deeply. Right now, you may be kind of withdrawn or not really giving out too much information or not really putting too much energy, emotions into anything because her cup is closed, right? So, um, he or she, you're trying to also not be so emotionally, you know, attached to something. You're trying to be detached. You feel like if you get, you, you know, too much emotional attachment, this will destabilize you. Like you'll just, you know, unravel or, you, or you'll become unraveled. You're just really focused and fixed right now, especially in your emotions. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius. Yeah, holding back the strength card, definitely. Um, trying to refrain from emotional outbursts, upset, learning how to act with compassion, understanding truth and clarity, learning how to temper your emotions. Just, you know, everything doesn't have to be a fight, an argument, rah, rah, rah. You know, it's like soft control says the strength card she's taming a lion and a lot of us we are a lot of card a lot of times they depict um this uh card as well, well in one deck they depict it as the lion and the lamb and we all have that side where we're soft and but we can be ferocious too you know as the lion is but it's like you have to sometimes you have to you know curve that you have to hold back and it looks like you are some of you are waiting so this could be some of you you're all tied up in knots about a large sum of money it's not your money it's not earned income it's money that maybe that you won uh inheritance lottery taxes um just a large sum of money and it wouldn't be um you know something earned income like you didn't go to work for it you know, something happened. Now it is owed to you. It's due to you. Something I don't know. And it could be a fairly large amount. And it's like you're trying to really um, not be so emotional about it. It's like you're waiting for it. It's other other people's money, says the strength card. Also, you're trying to just um, not maybe let too many people in on your business. What's going on here for the Aquarius? Yeah, the, so you're waiting for this paperwork. You're waiting for things to go through. It could be an approval, getting a yes answer, getting a no, whatever. Um, you would, it's a moving moving part to your, it's, it's just not, you know, as simple as, okay, they owe me the money and now I get the money. You know, it's like, it's a process. And you're trying to work with the process. You're trying to work together for it. What's going on here for the Aquarius? What's going on for Aquarius? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Um, at times you feel like you're being jerked around. You know, um, the Seven of Cups here. You feel like there's some false promises made. Or you feel like you, you get your hopes up, but then there, it's not for any good reason. So 
Some of you just need to get more proactive here. You got 777. You could be seeing 777. You know, that's associated with luck. Luck is on your side. You need to be more proactive and um, a relationship, a partnership. Some of you are trying to run away from a partnership or you're trying to sneak away or you're trying to, you could even feel like something deceptive is going on here. You're trying to find out. You're trying to get ahead of something. It looks like you could be ahead of it also because it's like you're trying to get what you want. You're trying to have emotional fulfillment for you. Maybe you shed a lot of tears about You just don't feel like you can heal a relationship here, maybe with a Scorpio sibling, somebody younger than you, older, I don't know, where it used to be good. Maybe that you gave to this person, you were a good person to them or vice versa. Somebody doesn't feel like the relationship can be healed. It's just up in the air. Simply it's up in the air. It's like you're trying to maintain, you're trying to do two different things, maybe trying to maintain two different households, children, or something of that nature. Some of you manifested somebody new or you're manifesting somebody where it's gonna be a healthy relationship. We equal give and take. A healthy sign of of uh, you know of choosing maybe a love partner maybe in the past you chose bad you didn't choose the right person yeah wow um you got more intentional about a relationship you know and now it can get out of the phase of it being kind of drama field karmic you get to a happier place, some successful completion in your connection, a reason to celebrate and look to the future. Maybe even because there could be a proposal coming in really quickly. Something like, you know, you know, make your head spin. Some of you could even be pregnant. Uh, uh, yeah, you could even be pregnant, yeah. There could be two people coming back from the past or somebody coming back from the past. It could be out of the blue. They want to start something up again. They want to finish whatever they started with you. It could, it could be a surprise. Yeah, they're, they're coming back. They analyze something about the relationship, about you. It, it works for them, you know, or it, it was best being with you. Let's see what um, these cards have to tell you, Aquarius. These are just general messages, getting where you fit in. It might resonate for you, might not, you know. Let's just see. Yeah, deserving. Okay, so maybe you get into a place of understanding what you're deserving or someone else is like they're you know they they understand that you deserve uh, you are deserving okay what is this maybe in march you will get what you deserve um maybe you you were the you were a part of some somebody doing something behind your back fraudulent maybe even stealing money taking money yeah Somebody could be getting what they deserve from doing this for, uh, um, for, for you or around you or to you. So someone could be getting what they deserve in, in March.
some of you could be with somebody who maybe in March something's going to be kind of revealed to you that maybe you deserve more you're deserving of something better or yeah this might not be the best choice you could feel like somebody's immature and hard to handle you know they feel like you're deserving and understanding they're immature hard to handle and there's something behind the scenes you don't see maybe in March all of this could become clear to you and it could be the other way around also a uh, cross watcher so illness sick um, something isn't well or somebody's mental you know like maybe even their mental emotional capacity and leaving you out this, they could they may have not told you that they suffer from depression or they have you know maybe manic or depressive moments or periods in their life yeah eat more somebody's just not healthy i feel like it could be emotionally you know yeah a relationship is not healthy If somebody suffers here about uh, with something you go from texting to waiting to weeks of no communication it's like so somebody leaves or ghosts a situation here that's i don't know it just yeah. someone's just very upside down in and out they can't trust their own self or their own words this is somebody who's just not not well i don't think they have told you they deal with some mental emotional issues they're dealing with or they have dealt with where it's been a lifelong battle, uphill battle. There could be separation, like somebody's trying to save the marriage, but the other person feels like they just all talk. It could be a relationship too, yeah, like we reconcile, but there's nothing happening. Maybe you guys had a real fiery reconciliation, you know, you had fun, but now it's taking a platonic approach. Somebody just doesn't take the other person serious because they're they're el cheapo. They're not giving enough, giving enough time, energy, effort, love, whatever. Something in the relationship is missing. It used to be very fiery. Now something is broken between the two of you. And maybe the feminine is seeing through to the masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, you know, man or woman. Feminine energy can be a man also. Some of you got too comfortable, but you need to move. You know, you need a residential move. You need to move. Get too comfortable where you are. People all up in your business trying to see what kind of growth is going on or how do you make something grow? Because you used to be maybe in need, stuck. that's what i have for you aquarius i hope that it resonates for you i hope well, let's leave you with some advice what's the advice for aquarius moving forward yeah let's let's do some shells we haven't done the shells all right so we've got run leave yeah so someone could be trying to leave we've got business coming out again yeah we've got family maybe family in your business you just want to run and leave or you got mom okay so maybe some of you are trying to leave maybe the nest your mom is in your business you've got your own family and yeah, maybe even your own kids someone is trying to you feel like they're 
the motive with them is hidden, okay? But they're really caring, you know, they, they do care. But you feel like there's an ulterior motive with maybe a mother, a mother figure, with your family or maybe a blended family. Something about business and kids, run and leave. You just, you wanna, you don't wanna deal with something. You don't wanna be there, you know. All right, three cards of advice for Aquarius. The King of Wands, take the lead, leadership, you know. See the bigger picture of something too. Don't get too scaled down in the, you know, the details, small details. Two of Pentacles. Um, it looks like you're gonna have expansion. There's luck here, there's money coming, surprise. Um, unexpected money, all of that. But um, right now you might be kind of uh, balancing out, moving money, transferring money, looking at the, you know, your bank statement, four of cups, and you could kind of be too emotional about this or looking at you or, or saying, woe is me, my life is this or is that. But yeah, they want you to know that 10 of pentacles, the curse is over in terms of maybe your finances or feeling like you, you've had 10 years or whatever, 10 months of hard luck or tough luck, a large sum of money could be coming to your newfound wealth. You need to have a plan of how to maintain it. Also let go of some grudges, yeah. 10 of swords, 10 of wands, in terms of family, family dynamic. Let go, just let it go. And some issues, deep-seated issues. You could be trying to be fair, yeah, Queen and King of Wands coming up. Someone could feel like they treated you unfairly. Like, yeah. Now they're feeling like you're their world and they want you and they don't know how to express it. This is the same energy. Anyhow, take the lead. Um, do know that maybe a tough time in a relationship is over. You come into the justice part where it gets good and gets better. Someone's going to be fair, honest, just, you know, repayment of the debt has already, maybe the debt was time, you know, yeah. So go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Go over, um, also catch me live tonight. I'm going to go live Monday. I'm typically live Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, Sunday night, last night I had something going on, so I'm going to go live tonight, okay? Come ask questions, come for the collective reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.